We're in the heart of cold and flu season. With the holidays here, this is an inconvenient time of year to get sick. But it's important to listen to your body if you're feeling ill. That's the message from the family of Matt Gilbert. They say he's lucky to be alive after complications from a strep infection. What exactly happened remains a mystery. Even milk mustache. Dinner at the Gilberts, and the yeah, kids are glad Dad is back home. home. Yeah, he taught me a lot of things. He taught me how to throw a four-seamer. Mm -hmm. Nine-year-old Harrison looking up to his father across a plate of chicken pot pie, the kind of night this family almost lost forever. Could you have imagined what you were about to go through? Uh, honestly, no. Matt Gilbert <coughs> is on demand. The 37-year-old father of three was an athlete in college and active all his life until he started feeling sick in early November. Then things just started to spiral. It was a busy week for Matt and his wife, Bryn. She was focused on work and the upcoming holiday season. He was determined to tough it out. What's your understanding of what happened? That's a really hard one for me, to be honest with you. Who could believe that someone so young and so healthy could get so sick? Yeah, it's still today a mystery. A mystery that landed in the hands of Dr. Philip Chow, a surgical director at UC Davis Medical Center. By the time Dr. Chow was on the case, Matt was already in serious trouble. I was in the middle of observing a surgery, and I dropped everything and went to his bedside. It was all happening so fast. On November 8th, the team explained to Matt that a typically manageable Streptococcus A infection was out of control, developing into severe pneumonia. Matt would need to go into a medically induced coma. I remember just looking up at them, I'm like, it's really making me nervous how many doctors are in this room because it's making me think that I'm a lot worse than I thought I was. And they told me that they needed to basically get my permission to intubate me and start, start working on me because I'm very close to the end. Despite the team's efforts, Matt's condition worsened. Dr. Chow made the split-second decision to put Matt on life support, a device called ECMO. It takes over the function of the heart and lung. Correct. When someone is so sick that their body can't do that on its own. That's correct. That's exactly what he needed at the moment. When someone needs to go on ECMO, that's incredibly serious. Yes, life-threatening usually. area of the heart we pull the blood out of. In this training video, ECMO program coordinator Laura Kenny explains it's the most serious form of life support. The mortality rate is about 50%. So the patients that go on ECMO have an 80% chance, 80, 90% chance of dying without it. They still only have a 50% chance of living with ECMO. Matt Gilbert's life came down to a coin flip that he won, thanks, he says, to Dr. Chow. I have nothing but great things to say about that man. and I, I, I truly owe him my life. He says you saved his life. Did he tell you that? Yes. How does that make you feel? I feel very privileged and, and, and honored and, and that I was just at the right place at the right time. Matt remained on ECMO for four days. With the machine acting as his heart and lungs, his doctors attacked the infection with antibiotics. In all, he spent three weeks in the hospital, his family never giving up hope. It's been hard. But once I heard my dad uh, was coming back, I felt a lot better. Grateful to be back home, Matt still has a long road to recovery. Weeks under anesthesia cost him the muscle strength he spent a lifetime building. Well, I could go out for a run at any given time before. Now it's, it's difficult to get up just to go to the bathroom. Okay. And the mystery of how someone seemingly so fit young and healthy, could get so sick from a common strep infection remains. Do you see this as just a freak occurrence or is there something that we can all learn from this? I think it is a freak occurrence, um, but at the same time, uh, we need to listen to our body. Looking back, Matt and Bryn <laughs> agree. I think that's the message, is to be proactive about your health. If you feel sick and you feel th something coming on, do what you can. Go see your doctor. Matt's family has had to imagine a life without dad. 
They may never know exactly why he got so sick, but on nights like these, they're just glad he's home. And indeed, the Gilbert family is grateful to have Matt home, but this has been a difficult time for them. If you'd like to lend your support financially, we have a link to their GoFundMe page on our website. That's abc10.com. And let's talk weather now as we bring in Carly Gomez once again. Uh, you know, it just kind of goes to show this is cold and flu season. Yeah. If you feel something coming on, it's better to be safe than sorry. It is.